At guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, number 13, Josh Terrian. And at forward, a 6'10 redshirt freshman from De Pere, Wisconsin, number 33, Dawson Nordgaard. The head coach of the Huskies is Josh Bittner, who is assisted by Zach Fleener and Ray Drake. Your officials for today's contest are Thad Hilliard, Davion Beard, and Rory Schultz. Mario Adley from Detroit, Warren De La Salle, Carmelo Harris, a sophomore 5'10 from Flint Beecher High. And for the Huskies uh, jumping center against Matt Coffey will be Dawson Nordgaard. And Nordgaard is a 6'10 sophomore from De Pere, Wisconsin. And he wins the opening tip back to Nate Abel. Nate Abel, a 6'2 sophomore from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. And Nordgaard gives it up now to Abel again. Now over to Marcus Tomaszek, a 6'6 sophomore from Green Bay. Down low, Nordgaard in the paint, working for position, kicks it out to Josh Terrian. Terrian, a 6'4 sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And the ball goes out of bounds. Also in the starting five for coach Josh Bittner is Pete Calcaterra, the 6'6 sophomore from Boynt City. Huskies ball, eight on the shot clock as they inbound it. And this is Tomaszek with it. Marcus with three on the shot clock, got a hurry. Calcaterra way outside, no good, but a nice offensive rebound by Nate Abel. Back to Calcaterra to Abel again. Nate down low, nowhere to go with it, finds Nordgaard. Dawson double clutches off the high glass, and it goes. And the Huskies get their first points as they lead two to nothing, 45 seconds into the first half. Brought to you by the Turbo Agency on Mix 93. Our opening tip was brought to you by Fine Line Tire. Played one minute here, 2 nothing. Michigan Tech with the lead. And the ball belongs to Wayne State. The Warriors work it into the paint. They've had four number changes. There's a shot, no good, rebounded by Nordgaard. I don't know if they lost jerseys or what, but four different players had number changes. And so that'll make it a little more difficult. Here's uh, uh, Marcus Tomaszek. Got the defender to go right by him, and he lays it up and in easily for a 4-0 Husky lead. Now Wayne State with the ball to Mario Adley. Works it over there to Ray Williams Jr. And he gets it back to Colin Golson. And the first basket of the game for Wayne State. Colin Golson is a junior, 6'5 from Detroit. Transfer from Eastern Michigan. That ball is thrown away on the turnover by Wayne State. Husky, or by the Huskies, I should say. And Wayne State will benefit. They'll have the ball right in front of their own bench. Wayne State's coach is Brian Smothers. Harris with the ball, jump shot from the elbow on the left side of the lane, was short, rebounded by Josh Terrian. <coughs> and uh, Terrian will give it up to Nate Abel, to Nordstr Nordgaard rather. Nordgaard over to Calcaterra. Tomasic catches, shoots, misses the three-pointer, and it's rebounded out of there by Tamario Adley. Adley's gonna go coast to coast, and then he ran into Nordgaard, and they do follow up though after the miss by Matt Coffey. And we're tied at four apiece. Able to Terrian. Terrian 
Trying to find Tomasik, and he does. The pass was tipped a little bit, but recovered by Tomasik. Now Josh Terrian with it again. He's out in three-point territory, hands it off to Marcus. Tomasik's gonna attack the basket in the lane, finds uh, Nordgaard underneath. Dawson, two, three times he clutched on that one and then missed the shot. He had coffee all over him, so he had to try to get creative down there. 4-4 as our score, 16.35 to go in the first half. And with the basketball is Golson, and a foul is gonna be called on Tech. Our first foul of the game, three and a half minutes in. Gonna be a Pete Calcaterra, that'll be his first. As I mentioned, the first foul of the game, actually. So that'll put Colin Golson at the free throw line. 67% free throw shooter. Makes the first one. And now Nordgaard's coming out of the game and Tyler Robarge comes in. Coach Josh Bittner changes his post players. Golson will get another shot. He's a left-hander and he makes it. So he gets both free throws and Wayne State takes a two point lead, six to four. Nate Abel brings it down the left side of the court, gives it up to Robarge, first time he's handled the rock today. Gets it underneath for Tomasik, back out to Calcaterra, and a whistle. And the foul is gonna be whistled on Matt Coffey for Wayne State. That'll be their first foul. 16, 18 to go here in the first half. Wayne State leading 6-4, the inbounds pass to Tomasik. Tomasik back out to Calcaterra, goes around his man Golson and then gets fouled. Golson trying to catch him after he had already beaten him. Golson reaches back and commits the personal foul. Second team foul on Wayne State. That'll put Pete Calcaterra at the free throw line. Calcaterra, 6'6 sophomore from Boyne City. And he makes the first free throw. Calcaterra, an 84% free throw shooter. 21 of 25 coming into the game. Now he's 22 of 26. And he has a chance to tie the game with this free throw. And he does. We're tied at six with 16, 13 to go in the half. First half brought to you by the Turbo Agency. Insurance simplified. And with basketball for Wayne State is Tamario Adley. In the lane, shot is up, it's an air ball and rebounded by Adam Hobson who's in the game now. After that miss by Wayne State's Ray Williams. Shot is up by Tech, no good, rebounded by Coffey. Coffey on the outlet pass for Tamario Adley. Adley goes into a low crouch as he dribbles, now he goes down the right side of the lane, takes an extra step, they kick it outside, three point shot is up, no good. And the rebound taken by Robarge, and he got really hit underneath. I think the foul is going to be on Tamario Adley. We've got a timeout here, though, as Robarge really got nailed there. And it uh, looks like the foul is going to be maybe on Coffey. Well, we'll take a break. We'll be back in a minute with the score all knotted up at six apiece. This is Husky Basketball on Mix 93. Complex Wayne State will have the ball after that foul on Tyler Robarge, his first. 
and the second team foul. 6-6 six, six score with 15.33 to go in half number one. And the inbounds pass is good for Wayne State. They get it into Kareem Abourashed. He sets the screen, now he gets the ball, and Abourashed with the three-pointer from way outside. Kareem, a pretty big guy, 6'10", from West Bloomfield, played at Detroit, Detroit Country Day and at Macomb Community College. I think he won a state championship at Country Day. 15.07 to go in the half, here's a shot up. Three-pointer by Hobson, and he got fouled. This is one of those rare four-point plays possible coming up here now. Hobson will go to the free throw line. The 6'4 junior from Stoughton, Wisconsin, nailed the three to tie the game at nine. Now he gets a chance to give the Huskies the lead as he goes to the free throw line. Hobson, a 59% free throw shooter, and he misses that one. That's one of the areas that he does need to improve a little bit on, but other than that, he's got a great game. Here's a chance for Wayne State now. They kick it outside. Three-point shot is no good. The rebound by um, Golson. Now they feed it inside, and an easy layup by Kareem Abourashed. Now Nate Abel hands it off to Hobson, back for Josh Terrian. Terrian feeds it back to Hobson, down low now to Robarge. Robarge against that Brewer shed, and he misses. Off the glass, and the rebound goes to Kareem Abourashed. Down at the other end, a left-handed layup, no good. The follow-up dunk by Abourashed, though, makes it 13-9 in favor of Wayne State. Abourashed. Played for the Country Day Yellow Jackets, four straight years on the varsity. Hobson's pass over on the right side for Abel, back to Terry and to Hobson. Now he works it down low on the left side for Calcaterra. A lot of reaching in there, and no foul call. Now they're gonna call a travel on the Huskies. But Colin Golson doing a lot of reaching around the body there. It's surprising that there was no contact called on that play. Terry and Calcaterra and Robards go to the bench. Us, he's got Norgard back out there. Simonson into the game for the first time. Abel being guard, or er, uh, Abel is guarding the guy from Wayne State and he scores. The guy is Carmelo Harris from Beecher High. Uh, Flint, Norgard, Hots, Hobson. Now Marcus leaps it over to uh, Simonson. He'll get it back to Abel. Abel in the lane, blocked by Abourashed. At the other end, Wayne State kicks it over on the left wing. A three-point shot is good. That one converted by Hutch Ward, who's in the game now. So it's 18-9, uh, just like that. Wayne State leading with 13.03 left here in the first half. We'll be back in one minute on Mix 93. Sweet like atmosphere for your group here in the gym. Ask about the Huskies Hoop Zones, located on the balcony with catering available for Michigan Tech basketball games. Back to, back to the action here now. A shot from outside is no good by Simonson. And the follow-up by Dawson Nordgaard. He gets fouled. 18-9, Wayne State with the lead by nine points. Warrior foul number four, Kareem Abourashed. His first personal team's fourth. Foul is whistled on Dawson Kareem Nordgaard at the line. Abourashed. 
And that'll put Nordgaard at the free throw line. Dawson, nothing but net on that one. And the Huskies are in double figures now, 19 or 18 to 10, with the lead held by the Wayne State Warriors. Nordgaard's second free throw is on its way, and it's perfect. So two big free throws by the big guy, Dawson Nordgaard, at six feet 10. He had some nice dunks during the warm-ups, but probably the most spectacular was Brad Simonson, who delivered a beautiful windmill dunk. And that got his teammates all smiling even. Right now, Wayne State with the ball, and they get it inside. Golson off the glass with the left hand. Colin Golson Jr. 20 to 11, nine point lead by Wayne State. Wayne State comes in with a four and two record. Here's Dawson Nordgaard underneath, and he scores. Right underneath the basket, he had to maneuver his arm around there because he was directly under the hoop. Makes the play, 12 minutes to go in the half. Wayne State leads by seven. Warriors with the basketball, they feed it on the right side, and Abura shed another basket off the glass. Abura shed did not start this game, but he probably could start for most teams, he is good. This is Adam Hobson over for Marcus Tomasik, who's been fairly quiet here. This is Hobson down low on the left side. This is going to be a chance for Nordgaard against the Burashed, and he scores. Dawson Nordgaard. Burashed played some really good defense, but Dawson Nordgaard was just that much better offensively. He had a lot of moves underneath there, and the Huskies now trailing 22 to 15. Here's a shot by Golson, air ball. Ball goes out of bounds, and they're going to give it to Michigan Tech. The referee emphatically Warrior calling the foul on Wayne State. Looks like we're going to take another time out here. The foul is going to be whistled on Wayne State's uh, Hutch Ward. We'll be back after another one-minute timeout. You're in tune with Husky Basketball on Mix 93. Or go to bookstore.mtu.edu. And make sure to visit our concession stands for some great options, including Bulbers, KBC Rots, Hot Dogs, Pula Sausage, Soft Pretzels, Pizza, Candy for the Kids, and a fan favorite, Nachos with Cheese. December 17th against Kentucky Wesleyan. A one o'clock start for that game. Then they'll play Winona State on the 19th at one o'clock. So they'll get a couple more games here at home before Christmas. Then on December 30th, they'll play Algoma at one o'clock here. And then they'll hit the road January 4th to go to Allendale to play Grand Valley. So Tech down by seven right now, 22 to 15, but they've got the ball. Josh Terrian with it. Works it over on the right side for Adam Hobson. Hobson on that left pivot foot finds Tomashik now to Calcaterra. Pete Calcaterra dribbles with the right hand, gives it up to Tomashik. Marcus over for da Josh Terrian. He fakes the shot, doesn't take it. Tomashik seven on the shot clock. Calcaterra, five. Calcaterra off the glass, no good. Norgard went up for the rebound, couldn't hang on to it, and is taken out of there by Matt Coffey. Starting back down the court will be Cayman Lennox. Here's a shot from the Warriors, no good. That shot taken by Carmelo, Carmelo Harris. And the Huskies with the rebound. Hobson to Nordgaard. Now Tomasik behind the three-point circle over on the right side for Nordgaard. Nordgaard against Coffey, out to Terrian. Huskies moving the ball around well right now. Tomasik, Tomasik, fadeaway jumper in and out, no good. 
he was being guarded there by Carmelo Harris. Harris will bring the ball down for Wayne State. Halfway through the first half, it's 22-15. Three-pointer from the left side. Knocked down there by Cayman Lennox. 25-15, 10 point lead, Wayne State. Nordgaard on the right side for Hobson, down low to Calcaterra. Calcaterra works into the paint, gets off a shot, misses. And a lot of contact in there, no call on the play. It looked like uh, Hutch Ward was following, but no call. Here's a three point shot for Wayne State, no good. Rebound Calcaterra. Pete, one of the leading rebounders on the Huskies. 9.09 left to play in the first half. 25-15. Tech with the basketball. Hobson down low for Nordgaard. Nordgaard being guarded by Coffey. Two big guys working on it. And now back out to Hobson. Down the right side, lays it up and in. Adam Hobson. Adam Hobson with a beautiful basket. Going right down the right side of the lane using his body to protect the ball and throws it up with the right hand and scores. 25-17, Wayne State with the basketball. Huskies and the Warriors both getting ready to substitute at the next whistle. Harris works it over on the right side for Cayman Lennox. Now inside, Coffee against Nordgaard and he misses. Calcaterra with the rebound. Terrific defensive effort there by Dawson Nordgaard. Now Hobson kicks it outside, Tarion with it. 8.15 to go in the first half. 25-17, Wayne State leading Michigan Tech, Calcaterra with the basketball. Michigan Tech lost the women's game 61-42. to Calcaterra back for Tarion. Tarion, right side now, Hobson at the buzzer, no good. And the putback is good though by Marcus Tomasik. Good job on the old tip drill, I guess you could say. Didn't tip it in, but it was a very similar play. And it's now a six point game, 25 19. Three pointer by Wayne State is good. Hutch Ward for three. Big one there by Hutch Ward from Kalamazoo Central. Here's Calcaterra. Nordgaard down low against Coffee. Left hand up and no good. Snatched off the rim there by. Carmelo Harris. Harris, not that big of a guy, but he's got some springs. Here's a three-point shot by Harris. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Calcaterra. Or er, Tomasik, rather. So it's Adam Hobson looking for some help. Tarion's no help because he was tied up. So he gets it over on the right side. Calcaterra, Tomasik down low for Nordgaard. No, doesn't go. Tomasik with the rebound, he scores. Marcus Tomasik with the uh, About a 14 footer there by Marcus. And the Huskies are within seven, 28-21. Wayne State with the basketball. Cayman Lennox. Now over on the right side for Ray Williams. Here's a bounce pass, left side. Shot is good by Harris. Harris, Carmelo Harris. Nice mid-range jumper from the left wing. Makes it a 30 to 21 game. Nine point Wayne State lead. A lot of contact on Adam uh, Hobson, but he scores Adam anyway. Hobson. Hobson had a guy poking him in the ribs there. It looks like Cayman Lennox was really giving him some shots to the midsection. And now Hobson just came back and gave one to him. I love it. Hobson says, you can do it, I can too. Here's a shot by Wayne State, it's good. Knocked down by Ray Williams, Jr. Ray Williams, Jr. From Detroit, out of that Edison Public School Academy. Edison every year has good teams. Here's uh, an attempt by Nordgaard to hit Tomasik, cutting through the lane with an over his head pass. No good, and down at the other end, Carmelo, Carmelo Harris team. scores. And Josh Bittner is upset right now. He calls a timeout with 536 left here in the first half. It is Wayne State 35, Michigan Tech 23 on Mix 93. Certified athletic trainers, UP Health System Sports Medicine Institute, the official provider of sports medicine to Michigan Tech Huskies. And the mission of Minor State Bank is to remain an independent, well-managed, community-oriented bank, serving customers in select markets with quality products and services that exceed their expectations. Minor State Bank, proudly sponsoring the Huskies.
ready at the Barry Event Center for hockey tonight. Tech coming off that big 4-2 victory last night over the Wildcats. We'll try to sweep them with the home and home tonight being played at the Barry Event Center. Thank you. And let's take a look at some of our first uh, stats of the game official. Michigan Tech shooting 41%, 9 of 22. And Wayne State 13 of 26 for 50%. From the three-point line, Wayne State five for nine, 56%. The Huskies one for five, 20%. From the free throw line, Tech four for five, 80%. And Wayne State two for two. Michigan Tech with eight points from Dawson Nordgaard, eight from Marcus Tomasik. Looks like two from Pete Calcaterra. For Wayne State, leading scorer, nine points for Carmelo Harris. Here we go with the basketball Terrian for the Huskies. They get it over to Tomasik. Tomasik back out to Josh Terrian over on the right side. Tomasik, head fake, shoots it and misses. And there's going to be a foul, I believe, on Wayne State. Tomasik will be going to the free throw line. This referee, very animated, fun to watch. Now he goes over to talk to the coach, Brian Smothers, for Wayne State. Drew Barry is in the game now for coach Josh Bittner, 6'4 sophomore from Midland. Free throw is good by Tomasik. Drew Barry from Midland High, 6'4 sophomore. Robarge is going to come out. So you've got Simonson, Barry, Tomasik, Abel, and Terrian out there for the Huskies. Free throws good by Marcus. 35-25, 5-12 left in half number one. Brought to you by the Turbo Agency here on Mix 93. And the Wayne State Warriors go to work, kick it outside. Warriors moving the ball around well. Now they take it in the paint against Terrian. And they put up a left-hand shot. It's no good. They're going to call a foul on Josh Terrian, I think. Oh, actually, it's going to be on Tomasik. Okay. That'll be his first personal foul, third team foul. And that will put at the free throw line Ray Williams, Jr., Makes the first one. Second free throw coming up for Williams. And he gets it. Ray Williams is season high. He had 17 points. That was against Lawrence Tech. Here's Marcus Tomasik now down the left side. With left hand shot, oh, dribbled off the rim, no good. And they've got their big guy back in the game now, Kareem Aburashad, and a steal by the Huskies, Simonson. And a steal right back by Wayne State and put through the rim easily by Cayman Lennox. 6'1", senior from Kansas City. Transfer from Hutchinson Community College. Tomasik for three, runs into the official as he's coming away from the shot. Marcus was like a foot away from the official, but the three-pointer is good by Tomasik. Now Wayne State goes to work with the basketball. This is Tamario Adley and he scores. Tamario Adley makes it a 41 to 28 game. Terrian with it, left side, Simonson catches, shoots, scores! That's the shot Brad Simonson has a patent on in Washington at the U.S. Patent Office. That three-pointer from the left wing, he's deadly with that thing, and it's now 41 to 31. Abu Rashad with it. Now they work it over to Jordan Briggs, who's in the game. And a shot from the left side is good by Tamario Adley. We've got a timeout. 
The score is 43 to 31, a 12 point advantage for Wayne State with 3.12 left here in the first half. Our first half is brought to you by the Turbo Agency back in one minute on Mix 93. Go to huskieslive.mtu.edu for all your HD streaming of Huskies home events. to go in half number one. Coming up at six o'clock tonight, Husky Bass, or Husky Hockey, I should say, on Mix 93. Dirk will be on the air at 5.30 with the pregame show from the Barry Event Center in Marquette. Here's Nate Abel with the ball now, brings it across the timeline, hustling it down there over to Tomasik, now to Terrian, and back to Barry. Drew Barry handling the ball, and Barry gets the pass over to Tomasik. Tomasik. Gives it up to Abel. Abel finds Terrian inside. Shot off the rim, no good. Loose ball is picked up there and brought down by Tamario Adley. Adley on the right side, guarded by Abel. Adley to Golson. Golson hands it right back to Adley. To Golson, down the right side. Shoots it over Calcaterra, no good. Rebounded by Drew Barry. Barry gives it up to Tomasik. Marcus throws it out of bounds. Abel was going left, and Calcaterra just shakes his head, like, where were you going? Now he's talking to him as they go down the court. Abel was breaking to the basket, and Tomasik did not expect that at all. He thought he was going to stay on the side. As a result, the ball goes into the stands, and the fans generously return it to the official. 43-31, a 12-point lead for Wayne State. 2.15 to go. We've got our Pepsi trivia question at halftime. We've already had one winner today. Hopefully we'll get another one at halftime here on Mix 93. Here's an alley-oop play. Oh, my goodness. What a dunk by Colin Golson, Jr. He took a beautiful pass, well-timed from the left side, caught it with the left hand, and just flushed it. 1.55 to go in the first half. Abel to Tarion. Here's Tomasik for three, it's good! Marcus right in front of the Wayne State coach, Smothers. 45-34, 11 points separate these two clubs in this GLIAC matchup. With the ball now, Carmelo Harris. They bring it back out on top for Jordan Briggs. Three-point shot, no good, rebounded by Barry, his second rebound of the game. Barry brings it down, gets it over to Calcaterra. Calcaterra goes up with it. He's fouled underneath by Colin Golson. Golson picks up his first personal. And heading to the free throw line will be Pete Calcaterra. Calcaterra, 84% free throw shooter. Makes the first one. Dawson Nordgaard's gonna come back into the game after this shot by Calcaterra, it looks like. Barry and Abel are on the free throw lane. Tarion is back behind the play along with Tomasik. Calcaterra's second free throw. It takes a long time to get to this one, finally. And he nails it. So Pete Calcaterra will say, take a seat on the bench. Dawson Nordgaard will come back into the game. 45-36, nine-point advantage for Wayne State. 
117 to go in the game. Or the first half of the game, I should say. Michigan Tech lost their game in the women's contest, 61 to 42. This is Matt Coffey with it. Coffey will give it up to Carmelo Harris. There's a move to his right, then to his left. In the lane, great defense by Tomasik. Three-point attempt is up and no good by Ray Williams and rebounded by Nate Abel. The fans are starting to enjoy this. Some good defense by Tech. Tomasik to Robard. Robard gives it up. Abel, step back three. It's good! Nate Abel drains one. The Beaver Dam native excites the crowd here. They're starting to make noise now. 24 seconds to go in the half. And Wayne State's lead down to six. 45 to 39. Shot clock is about a second off from the game clock. We're down to 13, 12, 11 on the shot clock. Wayne State with the basketball. They're gonna milk it right down to the end, it looks like. Here's a shot from way outside. Oh, wow! What a three-pointer knocked down by Carmelo Harris. Six feet behind the line. 48-39, Wayne State takes the lead into halftime. We'll be back in a moment with more from the STC and Houghton. This is exciting, Gleag basketball on Mix 93. As long as you want, Jaron. I don't have a lot to fill, so. complex and Wayne State leads your Huskies 48 to 39 at the half. The Huskies have the leading scorer in the game though. Marcus Tomasek with 14 points leads both clubs at halftime in scoring. For Wayne State their leading scorer is Carmelo Harris with 12 points. Michigan Tech in the first half shooting 46 percent on 13 of 28 shooting and from three-point range they are five for nine for 56 percent 
from the free throw line, eight for nine for 89%. Wayne State, on the other hand, shooting 56% at halftime. They're six for 12 from three point range and from the free throw line, four for four. The Huskies are being out rebounded just barely 16 to 15 here at halftime. Leading rebounder for Michigan Tech. Uh, there's a series of players with three. Calcaterra, Nordgaard, and Barry. I guess Barry's only got two, I'm sorry. But he had three. Seven for Adam Hobson. And three for Brad Simonson. For Wayne State, like I said, 12 for Carmelo Harris. Six for Colin Golson. Two for Matt Coffey. Four for Tamario Adley. Four for Ray Williams Jr. Nine for Kareem Aburashad. And six for Hutch Ward, five for Cayman Lennox. And Jordan Briggs played but did not score in that uh, first half. They do have this uh, player though, Abu Rashad, who is unbelievably good. And he doesn't even start for this team. 6'10", sophomore center, played at Detroit Country Day. And um, played for Macomb Community College before coming to Wayne State. He helped the Macomb Monarchs to a 28-8 record in an appearance in the National Junior College Championship game. But uh, he was a four-year letter winner for the Country Day Yellow Jackets. And of course, I don't have to tell you some of the great players that have played for Country Day over the years. So that's our story with the numbers at halftime. Michigan Tech down 48 to 39 at the half. Stay tuned, we've got our Pepsi trivia question coming up. In fact, why don't we get to that right now? The rules are simple. If you or someone in your family has won anything on our station in the past 30 days, you are not eligible. If you have won something, you just have to pass and count your 30 days down until you're eligible to play again. The number to call if you can play is 906-483-4054. Repeating, 906-483-4054. And our Pepsi trivia question is coming up after this timeout and a word from Pepsi. And our Pepsi trivia question for tonight. Teams change nicknames rarely, but it does happen. Uh, you look at the NFL, the Washington Commanders, 
used to be the Washington Redskins in baseball. The Cleveland Guardians used to be the Cleveland Indians. And uh, Marquette High School doesn't know who they are yet. They used to be the Redmen, but they've dropped that name. So uh, they do change once in a while. Uh, Eastern Michigan used to be the Hurons. Now I think they're the Eagles. Wayne State is one of those teams. They are known as the Warriors. Our trivia question is, what was the name they were called before they were the Warriors? What was the nickname that they gave up before they were the Warriors? They were known as a different team. If you know the answer, 906-483-4054. And uh, we'll be back in six minutes with the second half. This is Husky Basketball at halftime. Wayne State leads Tech 48-39 to on Mix 93.
Yeah, you can bring it back. I just got back up here. about that hockey game coming up tonight. Dirk is there all set to go. The Huskies are ready to go. And uh, Greg Christopher from Houghton, congratulations. He was ready to go before I even finished the trivia question. He had the answer. Wayne State used to be called the Tartars and now they're the Warriors. Greg Christopher wins the 12th hack of Pepsi, courtesy of Pepsi of Houghton. Here we go, second half just underway. Wayne State with the basketball. And they work it down low. Coffee got bumped. The ball comes out. Wayne State recovers it. They go back inside to Coffee again against Nordgaard. Matt Coffee against Dawson Nordgaard. Puts up a shot, misses. And the rebound goes to Pete Calcaterra. There was a battle under there, Royale. It looked like WWE wrestling. Big bodies going after that ball. Finally, Calcaterra came up with it. Now here's Nordgaard with it. Nordgaard looking for some help. He gets bumped, finds. Uh, Marcus Tomasic, he put up a shot. He looks at the ref and says, where's the foul? No whistle on that play. Wayne State comes up with the ball. They have a lead, 48 to 39 here to start the second half. And they work it down low. The ball was knocked away. It came to Calcaterra. An errant pass by Wayne State. And now Josh Terrian has a little comment for the official asking why Wayne State's getting the ball. He thought it should have belonged to the Huskies. So the Warriors with the basketball. Working it outside there is Tamario Adley. And a drive down low. Oh, they drag their foot and the fans want traveling. They're all signaling traveling down there. Ben Coffee Tommy. gets a layup with the right hand. And I don't know if that's the football team or what, but the whole section did the traditional referee signal for traveling and it was traveling how he got away with it i'll never know here's nordgaard hands it off now to abel trying to get it back to nordgaard and the ball goes out of bounds basketball and it's going to be off of wayne state's leg uh, the player uh, carmelo harris going for that ball So Michigan Tech inbounds it. Josh Terrian down low, puts it up, scores! Josh Terrian! Oh, what a pretty shot by Josh Terrian using the high glass that time. And the Huskies convert to make it 50 to 41. Nine point game, 18-15 to go in the first, or the second half. There's a three pointer from the corner Carmelo Harris on the three. right side in front of the Wayne State bench. Knocked down there by Carmelo Harris. 63 to 41. Calcaterra gets it to Nate Abel. Abel goes right around Harris and lays it up. Oh, it popped out of the cylinder, and it's taken away by Wayne State. Down at the other end, a three-point shot is no good, and rebounded by Abel. End-to-end -end basketball right now. These teams are moving it up and down in a hurry. Abel gets it over to Calcaterra. Spin, shoot, score! Pete Calcaterra. Oh, Pete Calcaterra, like a ballerina out there. Did a 360 in midair, threw it up softly through the twine, and the Huskies get a bucket. 53 to 43. That was a pretty shot by Pete. Now Carmelo Harris with it. Harris trying to get away from Nate Abel, and the official calling it really tight here. He's going to call the foul Husky on Nate foul Abel. Three, Nate Abel, his first personal, team's first. Not much of a foul, but Tyler Robarge back in for the Huskies. It will be recorded as such. Dawson Nordgaard goes to the bench. Tyler Robarge checks back into the game for the Huskies. 6'8 senior from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And the Warriors have the ball. They go down low to Coffee. Coffee guarded by Robarge, trying to get a shot off, and he does, and he's fouled. Robarge and Coffee both wear number 44. Husky foul number one, Marcus Tomashek, his second personal, T seconds. Foul is of the assessed. Line. Looks like to Tomashik, who they give the foul to, and that Robarge. Tomashik, his second personal, that'll put Coffee at the free throw line. And he makes the first one. 
Matt Coffey from Martin Luther King High School in Detroit. Averages about 26 minutes a game for Coach Brian Smothers. And they're going to wipe that out. They're going to say lane, lane violation. violation. That does not count. The second free throw will not count. So Nate Abel will rush the ball down the court for Michigan Tech with under 17 to go in the game. 54-43, an 11-point lead for Wayne State. Here's Calcaterra driving, score! Oh, no, it missed. Popped out of the basket and into the hands of Wayne State. They bring it down the other end now. That's Tamario Adley. Shot is up, no good. The ball is tipped right over to Robarge. Tomasic got a hand on it to tip it to Tyler Robarge. And here comes Michigan Tech. Robarge, top of the key with it, dribbles once. Feeds it over to Josh Terrian on the right side. Terrian back to Robarge. He's got a one-on-one -on -one battle with Coffey down in the paint. Puts it up, no good, but Coffey's going to be called for the foul. He puts his hands up in disbelief, but the Warrior official was within Matt about Coffey, five or six feet. Personal, now Coffey's nodding his head like, Tyler yeah, I Robarge it. at the line. <laughs> Trying to talk his way out of it at first, but he accepts the punishment for his error. Robarge at the free throw line. No good, short. Adam Hobson back in for the Huskies. Hobson will come in now, replacing Marcus Tomasic. And Robards will get a second free throw here. And he knocks that one down, so he splits the pair. It is 54-44, 10-point Wayne State lead. Michigan Tech lost the women's game 61-42 to Wayne State. So Wayne State on this trip to the UP for the women's team is 1-1. One one. They lost to Northern Thursday night. And they're going to call a foul on either Terrian or Robards. Let's see. It's going to be on Josh Terrian. Husky Josh not happy team. with Josh that call Terrian either. First personal, team's third. Seem to have one official making most of the calls here. Here's the inbounds pass to Coffey. Coffey over to Carmelo Harris. Harris back to Coffey inside. Robarge on him. Coffey trying to get a shot off. He was in that lane for a long time. And they are going to call it. Three second violation. A three second violation. Good call by the official. The fans react Media timeouts. in an affirmative fashion, uh, affirmative fashion down in the end zone there. We've got a timeout on the court with the Huskies down by 10. 15.53 to go. This is Husky basketball on Mix 93. Go to Valworth.com. For the perfect holiday gift, Valworth, the king of meats in Hancock. Christmas, everybody, from all of us here at Mix 93. 15.53 to go in the ball game. Wayne State leading Tech 54-44. Huskies trying to salvage the men's game after the women lost 61-42. Husky hockey coming up in two hours here on Mix 93. Dirk will be on the air at 5.30. It's 4.05 right now on WKMJ FM Hancock. 
Here's Pete Calcaterra driving down the left side of the lane. Can't get a shot off, back out to Hobson. Hobson in the paint, puts it up, he's fouled. Adam Hobson will go to the free throw line. Good aggressive uh, drive there by Hobson on the left side. Wayne State holds Warrior a little for board Coffee, meeting underneath the basket. Seconds. Adam Four Hobson of the five line. players conferring down there. Hobson, meanwhile, goes to the free throw line, getting ready to do his thing. Adam Hobson, we mentioned earlier, he could improve his free throw shooting a bit. He's 59%. Makes that one. That's good. Dawson Northgard Keep it up, Adam. Huskies. Prima Purishad in for the Warriors. will go to the bench, and Nordgard's back in now for the Huskies. Six feet, ten inches out of Green Bay. Dawson Nordgard actually out of De Pere. Both free throws are good by Hobson. Great job, Adam. 54-46. 15 and a half minutes to go. Coffee gives it up to Ray Williams. And Abu Rashad has the ball against Calcaterra. Abu Rashad, fadeaway jump shot, and it is good. Kareem Abu Rashad. This guy is pretty talented. And like I say, he doesn't even start for Wayne State. Abu Rashad, Kareem is six feet, 10 inches tall. Here's uh, Tomashik, a catch and shoot Marcus three Tomasic pointer. Three. The fans love that one. Tomasic, I don't even know if he looked at the basket. He just caught it and threw it up there and scored. Now, Terrian causes a turnover. Tomasic comes up with the ball over to Josh for three. It's on its way in and out. No good. Rebounded there by Colin Golson. Josh Terrian, that would have really got this crowd going if he hit that one. Now with the basketball, Ray Williams. To Golson, knocked away by Nordgaard. Golson recovers it, gets it over to Harris. Harris in the lane, got a shot off, but it was a bad shot. There were three gold jerseys down there. He didn't have much of a chance to get a good shot. Here's Hobson with the ball. Over to Terrian, around the perimeter now, Calcaterra. Calcaterra fakes a handoff to Tomashik. Now he'll get it over to Josh, Terrian. Terrian had a shot open for a moment, but then it closed quickly with Golson down there. Here's Hobson, yes! Adam Hobson. Six footer from the right baseline. And Hobson makes it a five point game. 56-51, the fans are starting to go nuts. They can smell a comeback here with 13.37 to go. Michigan Tech with the defense presenting problems for Wayne State right now. They cannot get a good shot. Here's Carmelo Harris being chased around by Josh Terry and the ball goes into the backcourt. It's over and back. Over back by Turnover, Major. Wayne Husky State. Basketball. Huskies defense was tremendous. They Pretend caused that ball to be tipped. And it came out across center court. And Wayne State went back to get it and immediately whistled for the over and back. So a five-point lead for Wayne State. Huskies have it at midcourt. Throwing the ball inbounds will be Drew Barry, 6'4 sophomore from Midland. Gets it into Adam Hobson. Hobson's provided a bit of a spark for these Huskies. Now Terrian with the basketball. Terrian looks for Nordgaard. Can't get it to him. He goes to Tomasic instead. Marcus dribbles it back near center. Now he goes to work in the lane, lays it up, and it goes in and out. Nordgaard with the offensive rebound. And he Austin scores! Nordgaard with the putback. Tomasic couldn't do it, but Nordgaard could. And it's now 56-53. A lot of time left in this one. 12.50 to play. Here's Terrian. Here goes Josh. Off to the races. Terrian. Oh, he had it stripped. Terrian had a, a wide open basketball. layup. And Carmelo Harris came from nowhere to knock it away from behind. But the official says he also fouled Josh, I think. Did he? Josh is saying he got hit on the hand. And the officials are not calling a foul. Jordan Briggs in for the Warriors, number 33. But it'll be Tech basketball, and it'll be Tomasic to inbound it underneath his own basket with 27 on the shot clock. 12.45 left in the ball game here at, at Houghton uh, at Michigan Tech SDC. Here's Nordgaard down low. Spin move, left hand, or right hand. Austin he scores on a layup. Nordgaard makes it a one-point game. 
56-55 Wayne State. Timeout. And the Warriors want a timeout. And Josh Terrian is going crazy in front of the hometown fans over there in the corner applauding. And Tech is right the back Husky in this game. We'll be back in one minute. In it's 56-55 Wayne State on Mix 93. Michigan Tech is recognized for. Huskies Club provides scholarships, increases endowments, and completes special projects. Increasing the membership and funding to Huskies Athletics will ensure that Michigan Tech student athletes remain nationally prominent in NCAA competition and in the classroom. Email huskiesclub at mtu.edu. And thank you for your support of the Michigan Tech Huskies. Nice comeback by Michigan Tech here. They're down by just one point. But remember, they had a close one with Saginaw Valley here the other night, too. And they could not quite pull that one out. They'd like to do it today, though. But there's still a lot of time left in this game, 12 minutes and 34 seconds. Huskies are shooting 48, uh, 49%. Wayne State shooting 54%. Tech 6 for 11 from three-point range, 11 of 13 from the free throw line. Wayne State 7 of 15 from three-point range, and they are five for six from the free throw line. Wayne State with the basketball, they lead by one. And Jordan Briggs out there. Bounce pass over to Golson on the left side against Nordgaard, and he scores. Colin Nordgaard, Golson he can't ball his defense. That was just a good play by Golson that time. So Michigan Tech brings it back the other way. Nordgaard with the basketball. Nordgaard looks for Tomasic, finds him. Now over to Hobson on the right. Adam Hobson dribbling with the left hand, bounces it down low. Nordgaard one on one, shoots, misses. And the rebound taken out of there by Tamario Adley at the other end. It is uh, Jordan Briggs. Now over to Abu Rashad. And a shot is good. Ray Williams Jr. Ray Williams Jr. gets that bucket. The assist went to Abu Rashad. 60 to 55. There's a feed by Barry, intended for Nordgaard. He goes out of bounds off of uh, Dawson's Pete hands, I believe. Huskies. We're going to get a we timeout here with 11 29 to play. And the Huskies down sure by five points. And the fans are into this one now. We'll be back in one minute on Mix 93. The show regularly features interviews with Michigan Tech coaches and student athletes. It's a great way to stay up to date with what's going on with your Michigan Tech Huskies. Huskies drive time Tuesday mornings at 7.30 on Mix 93. days the Huskies will play Kentucky Wesleyan here at the SDC get your tickets come on out and see the Huskies in action enjoy a delicious concession stand here entertainment from the pep band and the dance team or cheer team over there it's just a great atmosphere bring the kids you'll love it Husky basketball it's the place to be 60 to 55 in favor of Wayne State Warriors here in this Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference game Wayne State Warriors, formerly known as the Tartars. Congratulations to our trivia winner today. 
That was uh, Greg Christopher from Houghton that got that answer. Won a 12 pack of Pepsi. With the basketball now, Jordan Briggs. Briggs against Drew Barry. Puts it up, no good, and they're gonna call a foul, I think, on Drew Barry. It will be. Drew Barry, a 6'4 sophomore out of Midland. Right in the shadow of Northwood University. Here's the free throw, and it is no good. Jordan Briggs, 5'11 guard, freshman from uh, Muskegon. He set all kinds of records in high school. And he misses that one. He misses the second free throw. The pet band loves it. He had a record for three-pointers made in a season and career at Muskegon High School. This is Pete Calcaterra. Calcaterra down the left side. Oh, that ball was deflected by Wayne State up into the apparatus above the basket. That should be Tech basketball. And the referees confer initially. I think they were going to give it to Wayne State. But it was obviously deflected up into the air by the Warriors. Nate Abel will come in and Drew Barry comes out. Well, you know, at some point in the season, Josh or myself will say, we want more from Drew or Drew Barry more. Here we go, Calcaterra with the basketball over on the right side. Terrian for three, yes, indeed. Josh Terrian knocks it down. The sophomore from Pewaukee. Makes it a two-point game, 60 to 58. Big time shot there by Terrian. Terrian defensively now working against Tamario Adley. Briggs almost lost it. He's being bothered there by Nate Abel. Five on the shot clock, shot is up, it's no good. And the rebound taken by Golson. He feeds it outside, another three-point attempt. That's no good. And another battle for the rebound, won by Golson this time. And they get it back out to Jordan Briggs. Briggs wide open, nobody on him, and he misses! He missed a three-pointer. And the bench for Wayne State, can't believe they blew four opportunities there. Here's Calcaterra, over to Abel, inside, outside. Terrian for three, short. Saved by the Huskies, Abel. Or that was Hobson made the save. Hobson over to Terrian, and now Hobson has the ball. He goes to work. Hobson through three defenders, draws the foul. Hobson, Adam Hobson went right at three green jerseys down there and drew the foul. They're going to whistle it on. Uh, Colin Golson will have the foul, that's his third. So Adam Hobson at the free throw line. Meanwhile, a well-rested Dawson Nordgaard gets ready to come back in. The free throw is good by Hobson. He has a chance to tie the game now with this free throw with 9.40 to go. And a boot Rashad goes to the bench for Wayne State. Carmel Carmelo Harris is out there right behind Hobson. Let's see if Adam can make this free throw here. And he does! Another great job at the free throw line by Adam Hobson. And we're tied at 60-60. 9.35 to play in the game. Fans are on their feet down here in the corner to my left. Wayne State with the ball. They get it out to Anthony, or Harris rather. Carmelo Harris, his shot is no good. Rebounded by Nate Abel. Huskies are off to the races. Tamasha calls for it. Doesn't get it. Terrian's got it. Over to Hobson. Fakes right, goes left, feeds underneath. Nordgaard dribbling in the lane back out to Marcus. He's open. He shoots. And he scores! A three-pointer by Marcus Tomaszek. Huskies take the lead. 63 to 60. Under nine to go in the ballgame. Colson. Gets it over to, oh, they're gonna call a foul on Abel, he's upset. The foul's gonna be on Nate Abel. 
what they call a touch foul. And that was, it wasn't much there. But Nate Abel picks up his second personal foul. He's still upset. Expressing it to anybody that will listen out there on the court. So it'll be Wayne State's ball right next to their head coach, Brian Smothers. And he lofts a pass into the backcourt. And taking over now will be Tamario Adley. Tamario Adley from Warren De La Salle. Takes it down low on the right, off the glass, no good. Rebound, Dawson Nordgaard. Ahead to Tomasic. Huskies with a three-point lead, looking to add to it. Tomasic at the free throw line, goes inside, puts it up, and no good. The ball is tipped and recovered by Adley. Tarion had a chance. Oh, he goes out of bounds. A crucial error by Wayne State. Going out of bounds with the basketball was Ray Williams Jr. His foot was out of bounds right in front of the Wayne State bench. Coach Brian Smothers applauding the effort by Wayne State, though. Here's Tarion. Tarion hands it off to Tomasic. Marcus down left baseline, now in the lane. Has to get a shot off, he does, it's no good. Nordgaard slaps at it and it goes out of bounds. Goes up two, three rows deep into the stands. Over there by super fan, Dan Hinch, up here from Iron River today. We've got a timeout with the score, Tech 63, Wayne State 60, back in one minute on Mix 93. It was Wayne State over Michigan Tech's women's team, 61 to 42. In the men's game, Michigan Tech leading 63-60 with 7.59 to play. Our second half brought to you by Copper Country Ford here on Mix 93. At the conclusion of the game, we'll pick our superior player of the game, brought to you by Superior National Bank. Also, we'll be chatting with the head coach of the Huskies, Josh Bittner, following the contest. Wayne State has the ball. And they get it inbounds in the backcourt for Carmelo Harris. Harris crosses the timeline, guarded by Nate Abel. Now over on the left side for Tamario Adley. Adley guarded by Nordgaard. Inside, shot by Coffey is good. And one. Matt Coffey will go to the line with a chance to tie the game. Matt Coffey from Martin Luther King High School. averaging about 26 minutes a game. And he makes the free throw to tie the game. 63 all with 7.44 to go. Josh Bittner talking to one of the officials on their way back down the court. Here's Terry in with the ball, hand checking to the max out there. Wow, all over him was number five for Wayne State. And now Norgard. They're gonna wipe out the shot. Who's it gonna be on? Well, I'm not really sure. It's not, oh, it's on Coffey. So Coffey picks up his fourth personal. He comes out of the game. Here's Terrian with the inbounds pass over to Nordgaard. Dawson hands it off there to Adam Hobson. Back out for Nate Abel. Abel feeds it down low. Nordgaard, one-on-one -on -one battle now. 
Nordgaard spins, shoots, scores, and he's fouled. He got fouled by Colin Golson Jr. And Nordgaard with a chance to increase the Huskies' lead now. For Golson, that'll be his fourth personal. Fifth team foul. Huskies leading 65 63. And Dawson Nordgaard, the pride and joy of De Pere, Wisconsin, at the free throw line. And he makes it. Dawson Nordgaard. Big clutch free throw. Still a lot of time, though, folks. Don't you dare go away. 7 10 to play here in the ballgame. Michigan Tech up by three, 66 63. Wayne State with it now. Over on the side. They work it inside for Golson. Back outside now. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Tomasik. After the miss by Ray Williams Jr. Tomasik goes to his left around a screen from Nordgaard. Tries to get it to, he does get it back to Josh Terrian. Terrian over to Abel. 17 on the shot clock. Marcus Tomasik goes down low on the baseline to the right. Left hand shot up, no good. Nordgaard follows it though. After the miss by Marcus, Dawson Nordgaard converts and the Huskies are up by five. The fans are loving every minute of this. Golson with the ball now in front of the Wayne State bench. They feed it down low, turnaround jumper, left hand, no good. Tarion with the rebound after the miss by Cayman Lennox. Hobson with the ball. Hobson to Nordgaard. Nordgaard's been splendid in the second half. Over on the right side for Abel. And Tomasik lost the handle. Wayne State's got it on the floor. And Josh Terrian comes in there to tie him up. So I think we got a timeout called before a foul was called. Boy, Terrian's really playing his heart out here today. We'll take a break. We'll be back. The Huskies lead by five. This is Husky Basketball on Mix 93. band and the dance team and the cheerleaders having fun over there entertaining the crowd during that timeout and here we go now with the Warriors with the basketball Tech with the lead up by 5 540 to play in the game here's a drive underneath by Harris no good rebounded by Hobson Carmelo Harris missing what should have been an easy layup for the Warriors. Calcaterra with it to Josh Terrian. Terrian, one-on-one, some more hand-checking going on out there, no call. Terrian hands it off to Tomasik. He goes down low, puts it up, no good. The follow-up by Hobson, no good. The third try was good, though, by Pete Calcaterra. 70 to 63, Wayne State, five minutes to go. Golson with the basketball. Throws it outside in three-point territory. Terrian goes to work on defense. Hobson comes to help out. Wayne State is stymied. Now they try to go to Golson. He puts it up and in. Some terrific defense by Hobson and Terrian on that play, though. Huskies lead down to five. Abel over to Marcus. To Pete Calcaterra down the left side against Golson. Trying to get a shot off, and he does. It's no good. But he is fouled by Golson, I believe. Let's see what the call is. Oh, it is. It's Golson. He's gone. Bye-bye. His fifth personal foul. And now he's going to complain to the official about the call. But Colin Golson, Jr. is heading to the bench. Golson with a pretty good game here, though. He ends up with eight points as he leaves. Five rebounds. He's also got five fouls. 
He goes way down to the end of the bench where he will sulk a little bit. And Pete Calcaterra will trot up to the free throw line for the Huskies. Pete Calcaterra, 84% from the free throw line. And he makes that one. Well, the Huskies with a nice comeback here so far, but there's still 4.31 to play. Calcaterra's second shot is good. And now Dawson Nortgaard will come back into the game for Coach Josh Bittner. Calcaterra, after hitting those two free throws, goes to the bench. Gets congratulated by all the players on the bench. Now he'll take his seat. Wayne State with the ball at midcourt. This is Tamario Adley. Adley goes inside, took a step. They didn't call it. Misses the shot. And they fire it off a Husky out of bounds. Josh Terry, and I think it's right, he said he was out of bounds when he threw that off a Husky player, but the officials don't question it. They don't appeal it. They don't review it. They just give the ball to Wayne State. Some of the fans down there in that proximity or vicinity saying that they agree he was out of bounds. All right, here we go. Back to the action. In the paint. Shot is up by Coffey. Good, and he's fouled by Dawson Norgard. They'll count the basket. Nordgaard, that's only his second personal with 4.07 to go. So that'll put Matt Coffey at the free throw line. 72% free throw shooter. And he makes it. So it's a four point game, 72 to 68. The ref gave the ball to Hobson, gave it to him kind of hard. Adam kind of flinched when he caught that one. Here comes Abel now. Abel, like a bull with a bee in his ear as he went racing down the court. Now Abel puts on the brakes, still on the dribble though. Goes into the paint, lost the handle, now gets it back, shoots, missed everything. Coffee with the rebound. Oh, now the referee's calling a foul on Coffee, I think. Matt Coffee's jumping up and down, having a conniption fit right out there on the court. That's his fifth, he's gone. Another big guy out of the game for Wayne State. That means they'll have to bring in the sophomore, Kareem Abu Rashad. Wayne State not happy at all. Now we're gonna get a timeout. 72 to 68, Huskies lead. And we'll be back in one minute to see what develops here at the SDC on Mix 93. Zach Fleener and Ray Drake over there coming up with some kind of strategy. They're in a tightly bunched up huddle in front of their bench. Michigan Tech leading by four points. Two of the big guys have fouled out for Wayne State. So they do bring in the aforementioned sophomore, Kareem Abu Rashad. Six feet ten, very talented player. Let's see how many points he's got here today. Looks like uh, eight, maybe. It's very hard to read our stat sheet today, folks. I apologize for that, but the uh, printer is just really light. So at the free throw line, Dawson Nordgaard, number 33 for the Huskies. Free throw is good. <laughs> Dawson Nordgaard only in his sophomore season. This team is only going to get better once they get Dan Goresger back, who's still out with injury. Both free throws are good by Nordgaard. 
He'll take a seat on the bench and Calcaterra will come back into the game. Six point lead for Michigan Tech with 3.48 to go. Carmelo Harris with the ball at midcourt. Brings it down against Nate Abel, kicked away. Calcaterra with it. He's got Tomasic with it. He puts it up. Tomasic went up for the second chance and had the ball blocked from behind. Was there contact? Well, I think Tomasic might have been fouled, but they don't whistle a foul. They just say it went out of bounds off the guy that was blocking the shot. Calcaterra had the initial shot. He missed it. Tomasic was right there to follow up. Here's the inbounds pass to Josh Terrian. Terrian back for Abel. Nate Abel, 15 on the shot clock, over to Tomasic. Marcus, right, left, back to his left, or to his right. Now Terrian to Hobson. Hobson way outside, three-pointer is up. It is good! Adam Hobson drains one, it's a nine-point lead. 77 to 68. 309 to play in the ball game here in Houghton. And Abu Rashad, the pass intended for him, he gets knocked over, and the foul is gonna be whistled on Michigan Tech. It's just a matter of which one, is it gonna be on Marcus? One official is heading to the scorer's table, looks back over his shoulder, and no, it's gonna be on Tarion. It'll be on Josh, that'll be his second personal. And they, they're calling for the, what? What? Josh Terrian's gonna mop up the, the perspiration on the floor. He's doing everything except selling popcorn. Terrian, who got the foul, came over and now one of the fans comes out. They're gonna clean up the floor with that big circular mop down there. Terrian took a couple of swipes with it. Oh, reminiscent of Ali Hadar and some of the things he used to do. Here's the shot from the free throw line, and it's no good. And the rebound by Hobson. Look at him protect that ball. Oh, he put his arms around that thing like it was a baby. Had his elbows out to protect it. 2.53 to go. 77 to 68 Huskies. Down low for Nordgaard. Kicks it out to Abel. Nate over to Terrian for three. It's up. Short. Rebounded by Wayne States. Ray Williams Jr. He's going to go coast to coast. Lost the ball. Nordgaard comes up with it. He'll flip it to Terrian. He'll leave it for Tomasic. Two and a half minutes to go. A wild game. Helder Skelder out there on the court. Here we go with Tomasic down the left side. He'll step back. He's out on that big Gliak logo. Now he goes out closer to center court. Tomasic gives it up to Nordgaard. Nine on the shot clock. Marcus puts one up, and it is no good. An air ball. Nordgaard saves it. Gets it over to Nate Abel. His shot is up. That's no good. Hobson tipped it, but Abu Rashad comes up with this one. Some wild shots being taken, and not even close by the Huskies. Now here's a drive by Williams. No good. Blocked by Tech. I think it might have been Terrian blocking that shot. Now Abel gets fouled in the backcourt. Abel gets fouled, and I believe it's going to be on Carmelo Harris. Carmelo Harris picks up his first personal foul. Both teams are in the bonus. And it'll be Nate Abel at the free throw line for Michigan Tech. Nate Abel, a 58% free throw shooter. Coming into the game today. 149 to go. Abel makes that one. He'll get a second shot here now. Wayne State hurt by the fact that two of their really good post players have fouled out. Abel will get another shot. Hutch Ward is back into the game for Wayne State. Crowd quiets for Nate Abel's free throw. Perfect, nothing but net on that one. And the Huskies lead 79 to 68. If they can hang on here, this will be a huge win for Josh Bittner and his Huskies. At midcourt now, here comes Wayne State. They go in for the dunk, and the Huskies let them do it. Tamario Adley with a two-handed dunk. Defense did not want to foul there. Now the ball comes ahead to Josh Terrian. Terrian spinning, they're trying to foul him. And they do, come on, you gotta call that. 
They actually wrapped an arm around Josh Terrian's neck. Kind of a modified clothesline chokehold, if you will. And the foul will be whistled on Tamario Adley. So Josh Terrian will go to the free throw line. Hopefully he's got some oxygen back in those lungs after being choked out. 79 to 70, make it 80. Terrian cans a big free throw. Josh Terrian has only had four free throws coming into the game today. He was three for four. He's got another one here, and that one's short. Off the rim, rebounded by Wayne State, and Hobson knocks it out of bounds. Adam Hobson goes over to wipe his feet off a little bit. He got something on them when he went way out of bounds there. So a 10-point lead for Tech with just 78 seconds to go in the game, make it 88 seconds. Bringing the ball down is Adley. Shot by Carmelo Harris, no good. Rebound Josh Terrian. Boy, Terrian has been spectacular today. Nate Abel with the ball. Over to Tomashik. They're trying to get it away from him. They're bumping him. There's a lot of hand checking going on. There's got to be a foul there. Come on. Look at this. Bumping. I can't believe they're not calling a foul. Tomashik with the ball. Now gets it over to Abel. Abel drives, shoots, misses. And Calcaterra could not get the rebound. Wayne State came up with it. 45 seconds to go. They put it up and score. That was Carmelo Harris with the bucket. 80 to 72, an eight point game and 41.8 seconds to go. Fans, we're gonna send it back to one of our great sponsors and come back here in just one minute. So don't go away. Huskies up by eight on Mix 93. didn't have the golf stream this weekend. I would be jumping in it right after this game and heading to Marquette for the hockey game, but unfortunately he had dibs on it this weekend, so I don't have the plane. But uh, a lot of you will be at that game tonight. If not, make sure you're tuned in to Dirk's broadcast starting at 5.30 with the pregame right here on Mix 93. Big one tonight against Northern, and hopefully there'll be a, another major that Tech could score a couple of goals on. That was fantastic last night. What a pass by Bronte, too, on that goal by Gordon. I believe I had it right. Here we go, Abel with the basketball, and immediately a foul by Wayne State. We're down to 36.7 seconds left. After the game, we'll pick our superior player of the game. Already the votes are being cast up here. I'm going to withhold mine until the game is actually over, but Nate Abel is uh, at the free throw line. And then we'll also talk to, talk to Coach Josh Bittner after the game tonight. Here's Abel's free throw, it's good. 81, 72. He can make it a 10 point game here if he hits this one. Coach Brian Smothers just leaning over against the scorer's table, hand on his hip, nothing he can do about it. Free throw is good. Abel put a little spin on that one. And we've got 33 seconds left. Huskies up by 10. Carmelo Harris with the ball, shoots a three, it's good. Tex Hobson gets it into Abel. Abel is fouled immediately by Harris. 25.2 to go. So Nate Abel will go to the free throw line. Nate Abel with five points. Five points today, 10 for Tomashik, 10 points. Leading scorer is Hobson. Free throw is good. 
83 to 75. Looks like Adam Hobson's got 16. And Abel misses that one. Wayne State with the rebound. They got to hurry. 21 seconds. They have it down in front of their own bench. Three point shot is up. No good. They're going to call Hobson for the foul. Hobson looks to the rafters, hands on his hips, claiming he's innocent, but the officials will call it. That'll be Adams' first personal of the afternoon. Hobson talking to Nate Abel while the free throw is put up and good. Carmelo Harris, 93% free throw shooter. Played at Beecher High. I used to play against Beecher High when I was in high school 60 years ago. <laughs> he gets both free throws. He's going to get another one because it was a three-point attempt. We used to also go swimming at their pool. Our school didn't have a pool. Beecher High did. But we'd play basketball down at Beecher High. Rarely did they come to our school. It was a non-conference game. And he misses the third one. Rebounded by Calcaterra. And immediately a whistle. And the Huskies will go to the free throw line with 15.6 seconds to go. Northern has not given up yet. That is the third personal foul called on Tamario Adley. It'll put Pete Calcaterra at the free throw line. Calcaterra, 84% free throw shooter. Rims that one out. Michigan Tech's next action will be against Kentucky Wesleyan on December 17th, one o'clock game. Both of the second free throw is good by Calcaterra. 84-77, 13 seconds to go. Wayne State puts up a three, it's short. Josh Terrian with a rebound to Tomasik. Six seconds to go, and this one's gonna be in the books. And the fans come to their feet. That's all there is. There isn't any more. The Huskies win 84 to 77. And Josh Terrian went over there and exchanged some high fives with the fans down in that corner that were so supportive of the Huskies in this comeback victory. Final 84 77. Huskies win. You've been listening to Husky Basketball on Mix 93. Our postgame show is coming up next.